How's it going YouTube? Welcome to Upside DIY. So I use this tablet to to a hotspot. It's a really good um tablet that I found. So I use a silk browser and it works really good. And um I just watch YouTube videos with this. My TV used to be able to connect Wi-Fi and watch YouTube videos, but I think the uh, the RAM is just too low. It's like one gigabyte RAM on this whole TV. So uh, having this uh, tablet is is really good um, feature to to what I'm doing. Pretty much um, trying to set up my living room into like an office. And um, I do some other DIY stuff. Like I've got that tub right there. I have some extra suitcases. There's one, um, you know, and just a bunch of other stuff. But I'm going to try to move these suitcases and then put my table pretty much there. I need to clear out all this stuff. Uh, the table is kind of underneath that white cushion. Um, I found this suitcase. Then I found another suitcase that's sitting right there. So this thing has actually is like a briefcase but it has a nice roller and wheels so that that was a pretty good find I found a cassette case logic so just um yeah found this nice stroller that i can make into like a welding cart or, or something it could be a, a lightweight dolly who knows but um luckily most of this stuff is in good condition i, I find them in pretty good places so I, you know, once I see something, I actually, um, you know, try to go and pick it up. I, I get wood and stuff and then it saves me money, um, you know, and basically, um, just buy the rest of, of the supplies Then I can really make, um, like work benches and things, um, but, you know, I'm getting old, I'm getting really slow, but, you know, I'm trying to use as much, in, you know, of what I know, and then just trying to, um, I'm, I'm going to use that outdoor to help me transfer water from indoor to outdoor. So, from indoor to outdoor, I've got like a, a tote box outside of this window, and this window doesn't have a screen or anything on it, so I can really pull up the blinds and then... Uh, you know open the bars and actually pour out some of this water that's inside these aquariums um, that's I'm, I'm trying to shut these down get them cleaned back up uh, it's not like a hundred percent or anything the plastic is warping I could just use them whenever I, I need to um, you know if if I feel like getting some beta fish or, or just having to move some fish around um, maybe I might find something cheap at the store, like a, like a good sale on angelfish and, and, um, I could really try to, uh, just set these up and things like that. Um, and you know, I'm learning to mix the water 50, 50, but it really needs to be filtered out all the time. And then, um, you know, changing out the water filter. Which I did on this, uh, I changed it out maybe one every one or two months for just regular fresh water. Try to let as much algae and stuff uh, grow. Um, I've been trying to plant some more seeds uh, just because I just didn't want to waste any seeds. And these are pepper seeds. So I've got a few sprouts. I'm going to try to keep them in here. I'm going to add some more water. Hopefully um, the roots will, will actually thrive in, in this condition um they're actually sprouting pretty good uh in something warm uh, you know just just a warmer room with a little bit of light rather than than in complete darkness they started to really sprout and uh they look pretty healthy for sprouts and last time i transplanted them and they didn't do that good or anything so this time i'm just going to try to leave them in there and, and get the tree to uh, start to grow. I planted some potatoes in this. Uh, I tried to transplant 
this uh, jackfruit tree. I just started seeing the leaves for a week getting really bad. Maybe um, things just didn't do too good with this tree, but there are roots and things. Um, and I have gravel mainly and water. So this is a, a decent way to, uh, it, it, it's my first time trying something like this. It's a really nice big aqua uh, a, a water bottle that I cut open, you know, and, and um, the way I transplanted this was also interesting because I used a, like a plastic bag from, from the grocery store. For, it's basically bagel bag. And I, you know, it, it it was a good size for this pot, and basically I tipped I tipped the pot over the plastic. I have this blue raft to, to transplant indoor and things, and the and I put the the planter inside of a plastic bag, but the plastic bag isn't uh it has a hole or two in there. But um, I put grass towards the bottom of this, just regular dried up grass, just to cover up some of the holes at the bottom. And then this this uh, pretty much mulch type of soil. It's the cheapest I could get. Um, and it's starting to break down or whatnot. But uh, I'm trying to mix this. I might try to get some really good soil. So that's a, a pretty good start to making some potting soil. I try to reuse as much as I can. But um, yeah, just... I've got I managed to collect everything I managed to collect this two drawers one was broken and um, I actually was able to make an under gravel filter um, here's pretty much the bottom piece of the plastic but I made an under gravel filter for my 55 gallon aquarium which would probably be worth maybe $40 at least $40 for that gravel filter that I made pretty much for you know a few bucks um, with the glue basically and then I've got this uh, portable pretty much um, pond it's a really small 10 to 20 gallon pond I wouldn't really put a heater in there because I you know warm stuff with plastic the plastic isn't really made for that but um, maybe some some wild guppies or shrimp I don't really know brine shrimp um, just whatever I could just grow but the thing is um, this the tub sitting on top of it which has filters HOB filters in there um, it fits perfectly inside of the hole right there you can kind of see and it's really a, a shallow maybe two three inch tray but um, that would make a really good filter system or maybe even like a planter I could remove that and maybe have a light in there and stuff but all in all air, nothing's really broken it's really sturdy and stuff I really want to uh, you know eventually have that as a backup for growing and I you know if if once I move all these filters I could put inside this small drawer there's uh, once I wash all this stuff I could just put them away really nice and clean um, and you know I, I even have the top drawer for that so I might even add more aquarium stuff uh, because I have little small small um, you know containers and and just extra filters and things that I can really store in there and just just sort that out of the way most of this stuff is already sorted these are just basically plastic bags and stuff um, plastic bottles so I just sort them out uh, depending on what I want to use them for I have two liter plastic bottles in here um, I really want to try to get into aquascaping and making or you know just milk you know I could turn that into a filter uh, situation but there, there are just plastic bottles so I have maybe three bags and stuff like that and you know I make planters and and try to go outdoor and collect uh, you know rocks like that. I, I, I can actually use those rocks to weigh down stuff I have a sifter right there Which I use to sift out any fine sand and things to put inside of this, but I'm really proud Mainly of you know making that and how that worked out so well that tub just Just slides right in there really nicely. So that's bringing me a, a, a You know something um, Of use for what I've got 
um, and I'm planting some more jackfruit seeds. I really like growing these jackfruits, uh, some potatoes in here. So I rotated whatever plants I'm growing, reusing the soil, and then hopefully, you know, in the winter time and things, I'll be a lot more situated and sorted out and having good specimens for maybe uh, a few years or so. Um, but uh, I'm going to really try to start growing plants like this. Sometimes they don't do good in the soil, like these pepper seeds. Uh, they might do good in soil and things like that. I'm not 100% sure, but you know, sometimes, you know, when you go outdoor and stuff, you see rainwater and stuff, and if, if things were more situated and things, these would really would, I mean, you could actually grow a beta fish in something like this, uh, you know, and separate them and stuff. That's, you know, um, you know, for a while, and then find another pair and things, maybe put them in that. Beta fish don't really need heaters, they'll sense the warmth in this room, there's lights there. But the thing is, um, you know, um, I still need to work on having more containers and um, just even having the, the ultimate goal is, is you know, just having breeding and, and just something uh, that people would want. But I'm not really, I don't really have that right now. I just pretty much breed as a hobby and whatever, you know, once in every other year or something. Or when I need uh, something good um, and things are cleaned up and tested and things. Um, I find extra aquariums I might even find like a dollar a day but nothing is really set up I don't have any space to really do anything um, outdoor I have bicycles and car tools so everything is just smoothly churning and keeping me busy so um, I'm, I'm really enjoying the gardening parts with these uh, you know just with, with some you know investing in some soil and planting out your planters and things you could grow nice house plants and succulents that might make some type of alloy uh al aloe vera lotion or whatnot or or, or just maybe um you know it, it just looks good too so you know um you know with these peppers and with some of the fruit stuff uh trees or seeds some of the fruit seeds and vegetable seeds um even potatoes uh, having some supply, you know, some, uh, a variety of supplies and equipment. Um, I can really make stuff out of this stuff, uh, which is going to save me some money. It's a fun thing, affordable thing that I could do. I actually, this used to be like a pillow and things. I found it and I just said, man, this is, this is great filter floss. So I, you know, opened it up and stuff and, you know, just having, seeing people actually like not go through their stuff and throwing out nice containers like this has some party supplies in there just really makes uh you know just a, a casual just a normal walk and you know you know a good idea um I, you know and i'm still sorting out quite a few things there's a nice heat pad heat pads are really good for incubating chickens so you know I'm having, you know, good luck this year in finding a lot of pickups and, 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 you know, it's, it's, it's pretty, um, much how it goes for now. Um, and I also picked up this hundred dollar vase. They actually sell a pair of these for two fifty. I don't really like it for two fifty for two, but it's made in Italy. It's a, it's a Murano white crystal handmade in Italy. Um, you know, it has some nice stickers, but the base right there, I could really look for something uh, made and things, glue on a nicer base that might, you know, go with this. Maybe I might find a plate that, that really might look good. Like, I have extra stuff like this right here. Um, you know, I find electronics and stuff, so I'm sorting this stuff out just to store them. Uh, these, these are pretty good, and... 
these actually go good for um, just just wiring a, a bunch of just equipment, cheap equipment, heaters, uh, hair dryers, you know, plastic plastic tubs. I could really try to clean these and store sand or gravel in these. It's really awesome. So thanks for watching my video. See you on the next Upside DIY. Just wanted to point this out and um, doing some of the planting. Have some plastic underneath. When I'm sifting soil, I'm going to have some plastic, and I'll see you next time.